Welcome to Steady Advance International. Today's tutorial will focus on research and analysis project. And the objective behind this tutorial is to provide an overview of the various components of the research and analysis project. My name is Isaac Jima. You can connect with me on LinkedIn by sending connection requests with the web link on your screen. Also, you can send me an email by obuaccstadiipass.com or join the topic forum on our website, www.steadyipass.com. Today, we will discuss research report overview, skills and learning statement overview, reference overview, appendices overview, presentation overview, and resubmission statement overview. Let's discuss the research report. Number one, remember the research report is in three part, okay? And each of the three parts also have sub part. And you need to pass the sub part of each of the three parts of the research report before you can pass the research report. So let me wrap again. <laughs> each of the three parts also have sub part, and you need to pass the sub part of each of the three parts of the research report before you can pass the research report. It's very, very important to remember this. You need to pass the sub part of part one before you can pass the part one of the research report. Also, you need to pass the sub part of part two before you can pass the part two of the research report. And pass the sub part of part three before you can pass the part three of the research report. In each of the sub parts, you pass the research report. And when you complete your research report, this should be the layout and outcome of the report. Remember, the marker will be looking for all these key components when marking your research report. The key details you must head, adhere to are where 7,500 font area, font size 11 or 12, spacing 1.5, paper A4. Let us discuss the skills and learning statement. The there are four questions you need to answer under the skills and learning statement. Number one. Reflect on what you've learned from the meetings with your mentor, including the presentation that you gave to your mentor. Number two, to what extent do you think you've achieved your, uh, the RAP research objectives you set? Number three, how have you demonstrated your interpersonal and communication skills during the, uh, the project work? And number four, reflect on how undertaking a RAP helped you in your accountancy studies and or current employment role. And in order for you to pass a skills and learning statement, you need to provide an excellent answer to each of the questions. The key details you must have here to are uh, where is 2000, area, area, uh, area as the font size, uh, as the, sorry, as the font, uh, font size 11 or 12, spacing 1.5, paper A4. Let's discuss the reference. You need to perform two activities under the reference. The first is the in-text reference in the research report, and the second is the reference list. Not doing it well will lead to being cited for plagiarism, and you don't want to be there. Oswald Brooks have recommended Harvard References System as the system to use for the referencing. And my five rules you must obey under referencing are as follows. Acknowledge other people's ideas. Make it easier for people to locate your cited reference. Avoid plagiarism. Avoid collusion. And paraphrase and reference. One key to do to ensure that you pass a reference component and not be cited for plagiarism or collusion is to prepare a, a reference worksheet. During the writing of the research report, ensure that any source you use, you find the key details of the source and input it in the worksheet. These details are not comprehensive. They are not comprehensive. The Harvard reference system have the key details of each source you need, okay? So by learning more about the Harvard reference system, you can expand on the worksheet and make it even better. Let us discuss the appendices. Appendices are basically the supporting data and information uh, to your, uh, uh, your research report. And in order for you to pass appendices, you need to have technical skills. Let us discuss presentation. You have been invited to make a presentation at a program. 
and you have been given only 15 minutes to complete your presentation. The question is, how will you prepare the presentation slide? And that is what Oscar Brooks wanted to answer. Remember, it is a 15 minute presentation, not 15 presentation slides. The content of the presentation should be about the outcome of the research, not how you did the research. Two rules, more graphical presentation, less tech, less text. You know, but remember, this is these are very subjective, okay? And you need uh, to work with your mentor on this. You need to work with your mentor on this. Let us discuss the resubmission statement. The resubmission statement is for student resubmitting to uh, resubmitting uh, to us for Brooks, okay? Either a component or the whole research and analysis project. The focus is what have you done differently and did you follow the market's advice? What have you done differently and did you follow the market's advice? The key details you must adhere to are where is 500, document as for Bruce, uh, pre formatted document, font size 11 or 12, spacing 1.5. Each component of the research and analysis project is not a standalone document, but rather have impact on other documents. Therefore, the success of one depends on the success of the other or others, and the opposite is also true. To pass a research report, you need to pass the reference and appendices. To pass a skills and learning statement, you need to pass presentation. In conclusion, you need to pass uh, each component of the research and analysis project before you can get a degree. So make sure that you pass the research report, skills and learning statement, reference, appendices, presentation, and resubmission statement. And I have tutorials covering all of all of them and under under your topic. So listening to them and you really you really pass all 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 of these components. Thank you so much. My name is Isaac Jima. I'm senior uh, teacher at Steady I Pass International. I appreciate the time you have used to listening to me, and I wish you all the best.